you know, again, new to this thing. I mean, soon, soon these, face, these posts will change, but it's like I got a holographic form. You remember on, on Star Trek when they would like get beamed up? It's like I'm beamed up to the world right now. Man, it is, how have I been missing out on this thing? I mean, it's a, literally, I can walk and be doing the business. It's got to be, I must be doing it wrong. Because if you can literally just walk and, and do the biz and attract people and see who's out there for you and who's interested in you and your views, your ideas, it's nothing like it. Today I think we should talk a little about um, making it happen. You know what I mean? Making it happen. Like literally overcoming the fear. Because new things, they always, before you start to do them, any, and that's any new thing, before you start to do it, it's always like, ah... I don't know, I've been doing this uh, for 20 years, I'm comfortable doing this, I don't even have to think about it, I might hate it, but I mean, it, it, at this point it comes natural, I get up in the morning, I get dressed, brush my teeth, go take the train or whatever I do, go to my misery or, or my happiness, but go to my habit, and although it's not getting me what I want out of life, and I'm everyday dreaming about what I really do believe, you know, it's comfortable, and then we... The new thing is like, can I learn all those skills? Is it harder than they say? Um, should I even try it? Because it's new and what if I fail? You know, it, it seems so natural to me and I thought I could do it so easily. But next thing you know, you turn around and, and, and you don't do it. You lose focus. You, you fall back onto your old views. That's why it's very key as, as we think about it. It's very key that as you're doing this or you know as you're doing anything new anything new not just this I mean it's not about this it's just about us learning new things and new skills all the way through life but it's very important for us to surround ourselves with good books you know now they got YouTube out there like seminars that were once thousands and thousands of dollars now you can just download them on YouTube you can listen to Jim Rome Tony Robbins oh there's so many Les Brown so many but while you're doing this it's very key to alleviate the fear, you have to get around these people. You know what I mean? You, can, you might not be able to afford the $20,000 seminar, but you can still get that $20,000 information for free. I mean, it's right there on YouTube, and I hope you're taking advantage of it because Claude Bristol, oh man, there's so many, Wallace Waddles, you're talking about books and that really change your mind state. Seminars, I mean, these guys can... They, they can change anyone. They're so positive and they, they've really studied the mind and, and where your fears come from and where they might not be. Um, you know, we're just, we're just out here in Cali you know, making a movie. See, runners out here with their dogs. How you doing? Hi. You know, we, we, we just enjoy the day. Like, I mean, I'm not on a 9 to 5. You know, I'm and nothing wrong with a 9 to 5. Don't get me wrong. But I, I had to face the fear. Had to face the fear and say, you know what, Toy? You got to get out there. You're, you're dynamic. I mean, you're, you know, like wherever I go, I mean, it's not a conceited thing, but whatever, wherever I, and it's, it's all of us, wherever any of us go, we're, we're the star for that moment if we choose to be. But oftentimes, you know, we, we want to lay low and sit behind our fears or insecurities, go out there, display low self-esteem, shy, quiet. No, that's not you. That's not what you really want. When you're at your best, you are never some shy and quiet person sitting around. Just think about it. If you get around your best friends, you guys are out having drinks or, or just doing it at the beach, you're, you're probably the loudest one in the room. So then why all of a sudden when it comes to life and meeting new people, you're suddenly withdrawn or not sure. No, we got to forget about that. Now's the time for all of us to go and give our best, to be our best. Show the world who you are because how long are you going to be here? Remember, in a sense, every day, every day, in a sense, is your last. And that's how we got to start to live it. We can come out here and have the greatest success. The greatest success just by getting around the right information, trying the right things, playing to our strengths. Everybody's not, this is not a cookie cutter life. Everybody's not made to uh, go to college and sit down on a job. I mean, I did it. I went to college. I went to University of Miami, graduated from Howard University. But it was really, I, I kind of did it for my parents in a sense. And, you know, and I worked in my field and I decided, you know what? I'm not getting rich doing this. And ultimately, for me, I want to get rich. You know what I mean? I, 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 got, I got reasons. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, 
I have a legitimate why, why I need to be rich. You know what I mean? And it's partially to impact you. You know, I, I, you could be a person that I, that I meet, and the more I am, I can be a philanthropist and help create wells in Africa or Asia and create villages, build schools. But you got to put yourself in a position to do it. I can't just live selfishly on some tiny, not tiny, but on just, you know, on sustenance money. You got you to have extras. Anyway, Troy, signing off. Don't mean to be so long-winded. Anyway, I'll holler at you tomorrow. Peace.